Hi guys and welcome back to Creative Glam. My name is Sharon and today's video is going to be a kitchen organization video. I'm going to share with you how I organize storage underneath my kitchen island. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by and if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And while you're at it, leave me a comment. And I'd also like it if you gave me a thumbs up. Let's get started. This is the before cabinet. Yeah, so as you can see, the bottom cabinets in my kitchen island are out of control. It is a messy area in my kitchen uh, and it's been this way for a little while. I tend to throw my meal prep containers in there and close the cabinet really fast and pretend I didn't see what was down there. Well today I'm going to change that. This little messy area I am going to get under control and organized. So I'm going to tackle this storage area and it's going to be a quick process. It's just for me getting started. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of um, storage containers from, uh, I do a lot of meal prep. Um, you can see that I also have some off-season uh, off table decor uh, for my kitchen table. And uh, way in the back, I think I have some flower vases and, and things like that. Things that I use but just aren't organized. As I said, I open the cabinet, I place it in there, and now it just seems to be catching it all and I just want to get some kind of control on it I can't even utilize the space anymore it's so full so I'm going to pull everything out I'm going to wipe it down and I'm going to put back just the things that I need which will probably mostly be my meal prep containers and floral arrangement vases there was a lot of stuff under there much more than I thought so now I am going to wipe it down really good take the opportunity now that it's empty uh clean it out and then i can just put back the things that i'm really going to use and do it in an organized fashion now that you've finished cleaning if your shelving is a little damaged this will be the perfect opportunity to add a little contact paper walmart target home depot even dollar tree i had candles and rose petals for date night and this one's empty for now i would use risers in this cabinet but i don't really need to because the the containers the containers i got from walmart i am going to use in the bottom risers could work well too i've got my square meal prep containers i have my round meal prep containers and I have their lids. That's what's gonna go in here. Now, before I do the other container, I wanna put back the glass flower vases. The ones I use the least, I'll put in the back. These are the ones that I use most often when I get fresh flowers. I'll fill the second container. That's it guys, we're all done. I purged a lot of the meal prep containers that I had and some of the takeout containers that I had as well. I was able to purge a lot of that stuff but I got my glassware back down there and I got my meal prep containers back. I have uh, my date night basket and then I still even have a basket that is empty and I'm going to put some things in that too. And on the top shelf, I'm going to return the decorative baskets that sit up there. Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did finally tackling this island and getting it organized. It's a good feeling. For all my returning subscribers, thank you. I appreciate your support. 
And for all my new subscribers, welcome and thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you too. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And while you're at it, leave me a comment and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And with that being said, you have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.